Hey, what's up, everybody? Kill423 here from EpicCouncil.com, and we are back again on the Corona RGH install. Uh, at this point, we've already got the QSB with the Crystal Beltane installed. Uh, I pre prepped some of the pads. Uh, there's actually a couple of pads that I pre prepped during the pre prepped uh, pre prepped during the last video that that aren't necessary at this point. Uh, so for the moment. Uh, I, I'd like to apologize in advance, but uh, Kill Jr. is uh, in the back room playing some Xbox and he gets a tad bit excited. Uh, but for the moment we're going to get our uh, our Cool Runner installed. Now at this point I have not programmed the Cool Runner as of yet. Uh, generally I like to hook it up and program it before installing it. Uh, but for the sake of this video I'm going to install it and then program it. And I'll cover the steps that you need to go over. I mean, it's real simple. Just switch to switch the program after installed uh, when you go to hook it up. Um, for the Corona, means that everything's a, a bit different. Uh, the the uh, Cool Runner is going to be installed on the top side of the motherboard for this install. And I'm just going to line the bottom of the Cool Runner up here with this white line on the south bridge and stick it down. And there we have it. Cool Runner is in place. Now, at this point, we're ready to begin installing the wires. Uh, I'm going to get my flux paste out here. This stuff, uh, you know, I've used quite a bit of it, but it's not the greatest flux paste. Uh, I, I definitely prefer some of my other stuff, but uh, I, I like to try and do my videos with uh, as e easy to get a hold of stuff as possible. Meaning something you can run right down the street to Radio Shack and pick up. Um, for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get all these solder pads here pre prepped. So we're going to apply a little bit of flux to each one of the, the pads that we're going to be using. And we're using all except for pad A. Now, some of you might also notice that this is a Cool Runner Red C, so it's got the uh, the built-in uh, resistors here that uh, uh, normally you would be recommended to desolder. But being a slim install, these are the default positions anyway, so you don't really need to worry about messing with those. Okay, I got my iron all warmed up here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just flow some solder onto each one of these pads. This is called pre-tinning. I've always called it tining, uh, but I keep being corrected on it, so I guess I'll call it tinning for now on. I'm from uh, South Dakota and we're a little backwoods up here so state of the good old boys the heartland where people still work for a living unlike all them holly weirdos alright we got all the pads prepped now, I know I'm a bit, you know, when it comes to uh, my cleanup, so I'm going to go through and clean up the leftover flex paste after pre tining all these, I'm sorry, pre tinning all these pads.
And then I'll go through each one individually and apply fresh flux paste for attaching the wires. And like I said, I'm a bit anal when it comes to this stuff, so. Some of you might find my cleaning to be a waste of time, but. I'll surely spend the extra few moments, make sure that you guys, my customers, get a quality product that not only runs quality, but looks quality when you tear it apart and inspect my work, which some of you do do. Do do. Okay, and we're going to start off with our, uh, our 3v3 here. And let me get this little bit of fuzz off of there. Don't need no hair getting mixed in. Now uh, we're just going to... Come in here and heat the solder up again and cram the wire into it. Just like so. And again, clean up any leftover flex paste. Now the other end of this wire is going to come right up here to the 3v3 located on the uh, Corona add-on chip. Remember to clean your tip on a wet sponge in between each of your solder points. Now my power wire is a little bit extra long. Uh, they, they don't really have a, a pre-trimmed uh, Give me uh, pre trimmed uh, Corona wires just yet. And I wasn't expecting it to be quite so long. Alright, next we're going to attach our ground wire. So again, just a little bit of flux on there. Make sure the wire's gonna cooperate. And heat the solder. Just like that. Now the other end of this ground wire, excuse me, we're going to take and fish it straight across this QSB here and bring it up on this back side. Pretty much just run it right across here. And then we're going to solder it right to this audio video port. Um, this might get a little hard for you guys to see. Uh, let me try something here. Well, you can kind of see what I'm doing. 
I got my ground wire right here. So I'm gonna take and just put a, a, a dab of flux onto the uh, audio video housing. And I'm going to apply heat directly onto this terminal. Let it get good and toasty. And then flow a little bead of solder on there. And it will stick to the audio video housing. Now I'm going to take a little tweezers. And hold the wire in the same location. I need a little bit more solder on the tip of my iron here. kind of finagle this uh, ground wire in here to where it actually stays fairly straight and even though this is kind of up off the board you know I'm still gonna take a q-tip and some rubbing alcohol and clean up the flex residue So as you can see, the uh, grounding wire just kind of runs straight across here, like so. Now let's get in here tight again on the cool runner. Skipping point A because that's not being used in this install. So we're moving right up to point B. I'm gonna put a little flux on it again. And point B. It's coming right up to this solder point right there that I pre-timed earlier. So yeah, old habits, hard to break. Pre-timed. Again, this wire is just a little longer than necessary. Shattered in place. Now these next two pads here are actually going to run to the underside of the board. Those being yellow and our low loss or uh, just standard blue wire. I'm going to flip this over and make sure that the uh, uh, factory yellow wire is going to even be long enough. Which I'm not sure. It's it's a uh, 
it's not going to be long enough. So we won't be able to use the slim yellow wire. It's trimmed too short to fit in this the Corona. I have a fat cable set sitting here, so I'm just going to unravel this real quick. <laughs> 